Hi guys, so I've had a lot of people ask me to do a day in the life of my Fit Girls Guide meals. Um, and I wasn't exactly sure how to do this. I'm not going to go through each recipe step by step, but I'm going to kind of show you um, what I do and what ingredients I need. So this is going to be for French toast. It's called Lux French Toast, and that's what it's supposed to look like, but I do it a little bit differently than how um, the recipe calls for, so I'm going to show you guys that. You're going to need some butter, a bowl for your eggs, um, some whole wheat bread, ricotta cheese, some nutmeg, vanilla, and cinnamon, some any milk of your choosing, I'm just going to use almond milk, some maple syrup, and then two eggs. Okay, so just like regular French toast, I've got my egg, my cinnamon, nutmeg, and a tablespoon of milk in here. I'm going to beat that up with my whisk, and then I'm going to soak my whole wheat bread in that. And then I'm going to spray my pan, which is on medium heat, with some nonstick coconut oil spray. And then I'm going to put that on there like regular French toast, and then I'm going to start the toppings. Okay, so for my topping, I'm just going to put it all in a bowl right here. You're going to need three tablespoons of ricotta cheese. I know it sounds really gross, but ricotta doesn't really have a lot of flavor. And I'm going to add in a little bit of syrup, some vanilla and blueberries, so you don't even taste ricotta cheese. It just kind of acts like a syrup. So, um, And I'm also going to add in some almond milk, which is what the recipe doesn't call for, but I ended up doing because I mixed it in the blender and I needed some more liquid stuff. So anyways, you're going to need three tablespoons of ricotta, a third cup of blueberries, um, a dash, an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla, and then two teaspoons of syrup, but sh I add a little bit extra. And then um, I didn't really measure out my almond milk, just add it until it's like the consistency that you want. I just added it so like I said, my when I mix it in the blender it would actually blend up. So now I'm going to add those into my bowl. Alright, so I got all my ingredients here in my bowl and I'm going to save a little bit of blueberries on the side to put on top um, after this is all mixed in and on my French toast. So now I'm just going to add those into my blend tech and blend them up. So I got my French toast here and it smells so good with the cinnamon and the nutmeg in there. And then I've got, I'm just going to call it blueberry syrup, it's what you put on it. Um, so I got that here, and my extra blueberries. And then also with my French toast for this meal, you're supposed to make one egg any style that you want. So I just like to do mine over easy, so I've got that frying as well. So then I'm going to start, um, put this onto my French toast with some blueberries and then I'll usually sprinkle a tiny bit more syrup on there. and then with my egg and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright so this is what my breakfast for today looks like. Just my blueberry French toast and my egg and this looks so so delicious. So that is for my breakfast. Hey guys so for today's lunch it's not gonna be the exact fit girls guide. I don't know why the coloring on here looks so off. Hi. Bright red. But I'm not doing the Fit Girls Guide lunch. I'm just going to have a healthy turkey sandwich on... You didn't use my whole wheat bread, did you? I did. Okay. On whole wheat bread with turkey, lettuce, a little bit of mayo, and some tomatoes. So pretty healthy. Um, the lunch normally would have been this, which is called the Great Plate. And it's um, sweet potato fries with some quinoa, uh, some sort of dressing that you make, and vegetables, and your source of protein. And they just used tofu right there. Um, but I'll probably make that tomorrow. But today, since we've got a bunch of stuff to do, I'm just going to have a quick lunch, which is a chicken sandwich. And um, I'll probably have a peach or a banana with it as well. Hey guys, so we are about to leave on our errands. I don't know why this thing seems so yeah, zoomed in. Um, but we're going to go run our errands. And for my snack, I'm going to be taking this um, pastry crisps, chocolate, and caramel bar. It's only 100 calories. It's not the best snack. But I can have 200 um, calories worth of snacks in one day. So that is 100 calories of my snacks. So I'm going to be bringing that. So if I get hungry, I can eat that. Hey guys, so for tonight's dinner, I don't know why this thing looks so zoomed in. Um, for tonight's dinner, we are having um, deconstructed primavera. That's what it's called. 
but it's pretty much just some primavera and some sorts of protein and veggies. So I'm gonna show you what we're eating. We're gonna have, um, what I do is I bake my vegetables in the oven at 400, which is my oven's preheating right now. And I spray them down with um, coconut oil spray so it gets them nice and crispy. I will add some garlic powder and some salt, little bit of salt, not very much, and then some pepper. And I throw those in the oven at 400. Oh, just got done. So I put those in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes, flip them over, put them in for another 15 minutes. Um, for the asparagus and the mushroom top, I'm only going to put those in for the first 15 minutes because they get done quicker. For for the carrots, I am going to um, put those in for... What are you doing, you crazy kid? I'm going to put those in for the full half an hour. Um, and then right here, I have half a cup of brown... I don't know if it's brown grain or whole rice noodles. Um, a fourth a cup of marinara sauce. And then a tablespoon. I usually put a little bit more. Um, of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I've got some of Jake's um, cheesy, po cheesy potatoes that he made the other night. Those are not on the meal plan, but I do need to get an extra 500 calories, um, three to 500 calories a day other than the meal plan. So I do add um, a side here and there to my meals um, just to get in those extra calories. So I added those, um, and then I've got my source of protein, which is just um, a chicken tenderloin right here that I baked last night with lots of seasoning so it's really good and then Kaden is having the same thing and then I am only going to be eating the mushroom top and the um, asparagus and I'm also going to add in some yellow pepper and then Kaden is going to be having the carrots so that is what we are having for dinner tonight super healthy okay so here is my baked vegetables I've got my um, mushroom cap on the bottom and then I layered, um, I put one tablespoon of ricotta cheese on the inside, which is what my recipe calls for. I sprinkled Parmesan, a little bit of Parmesan on there. Some of my yellow peppers that I baked, as well as my baked asparagus. And I usually just use a fork and chop it up, kind of like if, if it was a burger that I was just eating with a fork. And it is super, super gummy. It is 10 o'clock at night. Both boys are asleep and I know I'm not the only mom that does this, but whenever they go to sleep, I just like to sit down watch videos after I get the kitchen and the living room cleaned up and have a snack and um, snacking can be good and it can be bad if you're eating like a bunch of Oreos and Cheetos and drinking soda that can be really bad on you and your weight and trying to get healthy so what I like to do for my snacks is either like a small thing of fruit um, like grapes or um, a banana or a peach or something like that um, or if I want something crunchier, I'll usually have like um, a granola bar. Um, I will also have, this is what I'm having tonight. It is Smart Food Popcorn. And this is like the biggest bag ever because it's party size. This stuff tastes amazing. It doesn't have that many calories and no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. And it is white cheddar um, popcorn and it tastes amazing and it's 100% whole grain which is awesome. So I will just have my little bowl of that, sit down and watch my videos, and have my cup of water and drink lots of water because that will also fill you up. And it's always good to drink water because it's healthy for your skin and um, it helps you lose weight. So that is what I'm having for my, excuse me, that is what I'm having for my snack. What? I like that. So today I'm having the same breakfast as I did yesterday, just my French toast with my um, topping that I made and my egg. And Caden is having the same, but I put his with a little bit of dip um, in the bowl so he can dip his French toast pieces. And then Remy also has some, and I think he likes it. He's going to town. I just kind of dipped his in the um, dressing already, but he's going to town on it. Is that good? You're going to town? You're going to town? Is that good, buddy? All right, so for tonight's dinner, we're having caprese a la fit girl, and that is what it's supposed to look like, and here's my version of it. Um, it is one, they call for three-fourths cup, but since I need the extra calories again, I'm using one cup of Brussels sprouts um, steamed with seasoning on them, and then their little sandwich has chicken, um, tomato, mozzarella, 
balsamic and some basil on it. For mine, I put um, just the chicken, the mozzarella, the tomatoes like they have. I put a little bit of balsamic glaze on it. I added a tiny touch of bacon and a little bit of um, moz or not mozzarella, lettuce as well to kind of make it a little bit of a different twist to the BLT. Um, but I just used a tiny bit of bacon. So that is what my dinner is going to be for tonight with my cup of water as well.